Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will understand the immediate and progressive side shift. Suppose this is our mandible and the mandible is moving in the left lateral moment. So the left condyle will be the rotating condyle. Our right condyle will be the non-working condyle and it will be the orbiting condyle which will, which will orbit around the rotating condyle. If there is no movement at all, if there is no lateral movement at all, then the right condyle will just move in this manner. There will be no lateral movement or lateral side shift. But if there is the side shift, then the side shift will be either immediate side shift or progressive side shift. What are they? The immediate side shift is the linear motion, the straight line where the mandible the condyle will move essentially in the straight line medially. So from C to B, the condyle will not move anteriorly at all. The condyle will move medially without anterior movement. And this immediate shift is called as immediate side shift where the condyle is not moving anteriorly. This will be approximately 1 to 2 mm where there is no anterior movement, but as soon as condyle starts to move, it first moves medially and then moves anteriorly. So this is immediate side shift. After that, the condyle moves medially as well as anteriorly. So there is a progressive shift. The condyle is not just moving medially, but anteriorly also. And this progressive shift is called as progressive side shift or Bennett shift. This is the Bennett shift. Now, if you connect these two dots from initial to final position, this will make a line and this line will make an angle with sagittal plane. This angle is called as Bennett angle. So to recap, this is immediate side shift. If the condyle is moving in this way, then first it moves in a straight line to medial direction and then it starts to move anteriorly. So this is progressive side shift. This is immediate side shift. And if you join these two dots, initial and final position, then it will make an angle and this angle is called as Bennett angle. Now, what are the factors that determines this Bennett moment or immediate or progressive side shift. The first is medial wall of condylar fossa. If it is very steep, then there will be more movement. If there is a gap between the wall and the condyle, then there will be more immediate side shift. The second factor is the tightness of the temporomandibular ligament. If temporomandibular ligaments are very tight, then there will be no movement of the condyle in lateral direction and condyle will have to move in a straight line anteriorly. Third important factor is medial pterygoid muscle. So these were the factors which were responsible for the immediate or progressive side shift and this was the concept. 